Do you want to determine the exact date your Model A4 drove off the assembly line? Well, spoiler alert, you can't. There are plenty of other vehicle makes out there where information exists to pinpoint when a car was manufactured, but that kind of information does not exist for Model A's. At this time, there is no definitive way to determine an exact date that a Model A rolled off the assembly line. If those records existed, which they most likely did, they have been lost to time or are sitting in an archive box somewhere waiting for someone to open the right folder. Allegedly, these daily logs were lost in a fire at the Henry Ford Museum in August of 1970. However, contemporary accounts of the fire indicated that many Model A era records were destroyed, but we now know that they actually survived. If you're looking to figure out when your Model A was assembled, there are ways to narrow down a time frame that your A rolled off the line, but you'll be within months of that date. You have to remember, these cars are 90 years old, and a lot of different things have probably been done to these during the decades to keep them on the road. Engines were routinely swapped out, parts were upgraded to whatever was available. Family histories have become clouded with misunderstandings. There's no surefire way to come to a conclusion that your car was built on an exact date, but you can get close. Here's what you can do to try and determine when your Model A was built. As we discussed in our previous video, Model A Ford engine numbers, the number on a Model A engine only tells a person when the engine passed inspection at the Rouge plant in Dearborn and it was cleared to be sent to another assembly line. The timing of how long it took to reach the assembly line depended on where the car was assembled. You can imagine that a car assembled at the Rouge factory had a very short turnaround from engine stamping to being placed in a chassis maybe only a day or two during peak production times. But a car assembled at a distant plant, such as Seattle or San Francisco, had a significant shipping time that could be a couple of weeks. If you are certain that the engine number on your vehicle is the original number, or it matches the number stamped on the frame rail, then you can deduce that the corresponding date to that serial number is the absolute earliest your car could have been assembled. Because this is the only definitive date that we have for a Model A, Many owners consider this their car's birthday. Another way you might be able to narrow down a build date is to look at the gas tank. Now, this only applies to some 1928 and 1929 vehicles, as they might have a date stamped onto the firewall side of the gas tank. This stamping can be found in different parts of the gas tank, but almost always it is in the area straight up from the starter motor. There's a lot of confusion or speculation on these dates, and there's no definitive proof of when that number was stamped. The general consensus at this time is that the date stamping took place as part of an inspection of the gas tank after the tank itself had been assembled. Meaning, it isn't the date the car drove off the assembly line, it isn't necessarily the date the body was assembled, it is specific to the date the gas tank was built. There are some very well-researched articles about these gas tanks that we'll link to in the description below if you want to check them out for yourself. It is important to look at the whole car and not just one feature to determine when it was assembled. Again, parts could have been changed out or if you're on the cusp of use of a particular part, there's some gray area about when that part would have been phased out. How can you find out the little details of a whole car to help pin its assembly down? You can use the Model A restoration guidelines. This extremely well-researched book breaks down many of the components and parts of a Model A with production dates. Start to use the sum of the parts to narrow down a build date. The book can be purchased from either of the two National Model A clubs. Another way you may be able to shrink the time frame of your car's build is by looking for an assembly plant stamping on the body cross member. Most all assembly plants would stamp letters and numbers there to indicate which plant the car was built and what number that car was in terms of production for that body style. For example, this Phaeton has TC476, indicating it was the 476th Phaeton body assembled at the Twin Cities plant. These numbers appear to be for 1928 and 1929, and then the numbers reset and started over again for 3031 body types. Some other plants also stamped a numerical month and year onto the vehicles. If you're lucky enough to have a car built at one of these plants and the number is still visible, you'll be able to further narrow down the build date of your car. You may never be able to find out the exact date your Model A drove off the assembly line. So, why not just celebrate your Model A every day? As always, thanks for watching.